Hey, this is Mina. Today I'm going to to replace the battery to this MacBook Air. I've been studying different videos, actually two of them, and it's very, very simple, very seamless, very straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down this Mac, close out any programs, because I usually put my Mac to sleep. Do you just put your Mac to sleep? Because I've been doing that for like the longest time, but to change out the battery, the first thing I need to do is to put this Mac to sleep. <laughs> I actually meant to say the first thing I have to do before changing the battery is to turn off the Mac. So let's get this done. So we're going to change the battery to my MacBook Air and I'm following the video by Peter Von Panda. First of all, I'm going to take off the protective cover here. That's seen better days. Well, I first powered down my computer. You know, let me take off. This is from my mouse. Put that in a little catch-all. I'm just going to take off this protective. Ay, come off. I'm sorry. You're not seeing. I'm trying to struggle to get off the... Quite a stroke. All right, so now we're gonna use the battery by Ray Hong. It came in a little plain box like this, but it's the same battery that Peter Von Panda used. And I'll reference this video. Focus. Ray Hong. All right, and it comes with screwdrivers and stuff. So I'm gonna. Maybe I'll just work this. Thankfully, it comes with screwdrivers. So let's see. I have two screwdrivers there and we have the battery here let's see purple one no it's the blue one use the blue one there it goes. i think these are the longest screws because of the hinge oh nice i'm going to put in this little catch-all here <laughs> This is a smaller screw. You could put it in a little, I have a little catch-all here, a little lid. Now, let's see. Ah, perfect. Ooh, here are the guts the guts of the Mac. I have to wipe down that dust. Now, he said that I would think we would unscrew these first and then, or no, let's see. He said you have to take this flap and pull it straight out. Oh, cool. And then we have to unscrew these screws here. And I have another catch-all for all of that. So here goes. You are fabulous. I think we've got all the screws. We're going to gently put that up. There we go. And, wow, that's pretty dusty. So that's the old battery. Put that aside. I'm going to carefully dust this Mac. I had to dust a little bit. Hopefully that was okay. Now we have the new battery and it's by Ray Hom. So we got it in. So we got it in. And we can see it's in. Now...
All right, the moment of truth. Okay, so we installed the battery. So now we're going to turn it on to see if I did everything okay. I did dust it because it was very dusty. So I just used a paintbrush I have here and I lightly dusted the parts and I hope that didn't really do anything to it. So we're going to turn on the computer. Oh man, this computer is dusty. All right, let's do this. Let's do this together. Uh-oh. What's this battery? <gasps> you know you have that momentary, momentary scare, like, oh my god, did I do something wrong? I have to see. Now, there's an instruction manual that you have to do, you have to set up some certain settings and... Well, that's going on. Where did I put that paintbrush? I wanted to dust the screen. That was a big apple. Yay! Oh, okay. It's not fully charged, but that's okay. Let's sign in. Give me a second. Here we go. Yay! Okay, everything is still there. Battery. Let's see what it says about the battery. Power source is at 58%. Now it no longer has that warning danger label, so... So the battery's in. I was talking about... I started to talk about the instructions for the laptop battery. And they had... I don't know if you could see... I'm going to try to see if you could show it to you. They have here... Let's see if it, if it, if it makes it clear. It says... This is the number one where it says, say set the power supply option first right click on i tried doing that i held it there so you could read it and it makes me think that that is for pc instead of mac because i tried to do that on the mac and i couldn't and i've reached a point in my life where if i i'm not going to nitpick or drive myself crazy well i said well i'm not i like i said i let it go let it go and my mac my mac is fine the other thing was they spoke about I think that this more applies to where you have to let the battery power down. Like you saw the percentage of the battery was about 58%. And I learned that you need to let it power down as it goes into hibernate mode. And then you recharge it again. And that you're supposed to cycle it several times, like three or four times. Here it goes. It says connect the power adapter. I'm just going to read it to you. It says connect the power adapter until the battery is charged 100%. This is before initial use of the computer or resuming use of the computer after long-term storage. The battery must be charged to full and discharged three or four times to optimize the performance. The charging process takes more than five hours. Now what I understand it to be is that before initial use of the computer or resuming use of the computer after long-term storage. What do you understand that to be? So you just keep on using the laptop and I said the process takes more than five hours. Well, I think I need to do more research on optimizing your battery performance, but I did allow the battery to discharge at least three times throughout different days because I personally cannot wait five hours. Or maybe I could, who knows? I did say I was impatient in a previous video. My Mac is working. I have it charging right now as I, as I edited this video because I want to get it up. You let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on properly discharging a battery for optimal performance. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Like and subscribe if you like this comment uh, so that more of what I do will reach your feet. So I will see you in the next video what I was hiding, some top secret uh, ideas for my upcoming videos include, include replacing the hard drive to my ThinkPad and installing Linux. And that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Cheers.